A building that is 200 feet tall casts a shadow of various lengths as the day goes by. An angle of elevation theta is formed by the lines from the top and bottom of the building to the tip of the shadow. Find the rate of change of the angle of elevation, which is d theta dx, when x equals 125. So first, taking a look at our picture below, we know the building is 200 feet tall. Let's go ahead and label that. X is the length of the shadow, and theta is the angle of elevation. Notice in relation to the angle theta, the building height is the opposite side, and X, the shadow length, is the adjacent side. So using the right triangle, we know tangent theta is equal to 200 divided by x. However, in order to find d theta dx, we need to write theta as a function of x, which means we need to solve this equation for theta by taking the inverse tangent of both sides of the equation. On the left side, inverse tangent of tangent theta simplifies to theta giving us theta equals inverse tangent of 200 divided by x. Now that we have theta in terms of x, we can find d theta dx or theta prime by differentiating both sides of the equation with respect to x. And notice to differentiate inverse tangent of 200 divided by x, we will have to apply the chain rule where the inner function u is equal to 200 divided by x. So if u is equal to 200 divided by x, or if we want 200 times x to the power of negative one, we know we need to find u prime when applying the chain rule, where u prime or du dx is equal to the derivative of 200 x to the power of negative one with respect to x, which is negative 200 times x to the power of negative one minus one, which is negative two, which we can also write as negative 200 divided by x squared. So now differentiating both sides of the equation with respect to x, we have d theta dx or theta prime is equal to the derivative of inverse tangent u with respect to x is equal to one divided by the quantity one plus u squared times u prime, which in our case is one divided by the quantity one plus the square of 200 divided by x times u prime, which is negative 200 divided by x squared. Let's go ahead and simplify. We have theta prime is equal to one divided by the quantity one plus the square of 200 divided by x is 40,000 divided by x squared. And all this is times negative 200 divided by x squared. Let's go ahead and find this product. The numerator is one times negative 200, which is negative 200. In the denominator, we are going to distribute x squared. x squared times one is x squared, and then plus 40,000 divided by x squared times x squared is just 40,000. Now we can determine theta prime of 125. Theta prime of 125 is equal to negative 200 divided by the quantity 125 squared plus 40,000. Let's evaluate this on the calculator. I'm gonna go ahead and use the fraction format button here on the right. We have negative 200 divided by the quantity 125 squared plus 40,000. I'm gonna go and get the exact value first, which is negative eight divided by 2,225. And this would be radians per foot. And let's also get a decimal approximation. It says to five decimal places. So let's go back to the decimal notation. If we go out to the sixth decimal place, notice how we have a five, which means you round up which gives us negative 0 0.00360 to five decimal places. And again, the question does say round to five decimal places, and therefore we'll give the decimal approximation 
of negative 0 0.00360 radians per foot. I hope you found this helpful.